Okay, area of a trapezium. They, they give you this formula um, on page two in the exam paper, so you don't need to remember the formula. Um, it goes like this. Okay. Um, now your A and your B are your sides that are parallel in your trapezium. So it doesn't matter really, you can call that A and that B or the other way around. I mean, perhaps I'll call that A, that B. It doesn't really matter, okay? As long as those two sides are parallel. And that's what's distinct about a trapezium in that it's got one pair of parallel lines, okay? These two are obviously not parallel, okay? They shoot off different directions. Um, so, obviously, that what gives this uh, its name trapezium, okay? And we've got just one pair of parallel lines. H, then, it stands for the height, okay? And it's just the distance, basically, between A and B, okay? So, when you work out the area, um, you have uh, one half. A plus B is 28 plus 34.6, okay? A and your B, and then you've got to times it then by the height between them, which is 24. Okay, so when you type this into your calculator, you do one half bracket. You can do this in one go. Twenty-eight plus thirty-four point six. Close bracket. It is important you put times then, right, before you write the number, because otherwise the calculator doesn't like it. And you get this out. Press the SD, and it comes to the answer there. Okay, so seven five one point two centimeter squared. Okay, our second problem. Again, we've got a trapezium, okay? As you can see here, you've got two parallel sides, okay? And um, that, that's actually um, a vertical side, perpendicular to these two sides. But that one obviously goes in a different direction again. But it is a trapezium, these two here. So that would be your A, and that would be your B. Of course, they're asking us for the area, as well as your B and your A there, you also need the height between them. Unfortunately, they, they don't give us that height in this question. It's, it's worth a lot of marks. It's worth seven marks this question. Okay. So before you actually work out the area of the trapezium, before you actually use the formula, you need to work this out here. I think what's helped us with this question is that they've drawn this line here and they've made this to be a triangle. Okay, you can see a right angle triangle there. We also know this slant here, 8.2, which is really helpful. So perhaps you're starting to think now, okay, we need that side. Perhaps we could use Pythagoras. But of course, with Pythagoras, you need, you need to know two sides. We know that's 8.2, okay. We want to work that side out. Of course, we don't know this side. We don't know it, but then maybe we could work it out. We know this longer side here is 19.7, and we know this shorter side is 13.4. So if you think about it, that side there is just the difference between those two. So if I work that out, my calculator comes to 6.3. Okay? 6.3 centimeters. Now we can use Pythagoras. Of course, Pythagoras, that is the longest side, isn't it? And Pythagoras is here. And we want this side here. Okay, so we'll call it H because, simply because we'll be looking for the height, yeah? So using Pythagoras, it'll be that squared. Now we're taking, the, that's the longest side, of course. So let so me taking away then one of the shorter sides, the square of the shorter side. And you get your answer. Twenty-seven point five five. Okay, and don't forget, of course, then you've got to square root that to complete Pythagoras' theorem. So square root the answer, and I get five point two five. Okay, when I round it. So now I know what h is. H then is five point two five centimeters. So I can then work out the area. 
area of the trapezium half a plus b h remember that is given to you so you don't have to remember it you just have to remember how to apply it so a is 13.4 b is 19.7 the h then we worked out to be 5.25 so then you've got your answer so i type that in you get your answer 86.9 centimeter squared when I round it.